Hello everybody, Matthew here from Wild Summer Matthew. So, remember two days ago on the 1st of October I caught a night at her. And today is the 3rd of October and I have got another night at her. So, yeah, I'm at Cradle Moon right now. Near by the big river. Gonna be releasing the snake safely back into the wild. And you guys will get a chance to see the snake. And once again, I'm by myself. And since I'm not really good at using GoPros, um, so I use my phone to do all my filming. So yeah, so I'm coming well enough into the bush to let the snake go. And I think I am just about at the release spot for the snake so yeah and it will live happy and free and in the wild right now I'm just trying to dodge some thorns yeah oh there's a nice perfect spot so yeah <laughs> Oh wow, let me show you this spot, yeah. So I'm pretty um, isolated in the bushes, yeah. Okay, let me just drop my tongs. So my car is sitting up that side somewhere. My car is all the way up there. Can you hear some movement in the bushes here nearby me? Some rustling. So right now I'm busy taking the lid off the tube. There's a snake down in there. And there he is. Check it out. Oh, beautiful. Right at You grab the snake tongs here. And this snake is a male. It's got a long and slender tail. Or females have got short and stocky tails. The, and the night adder is the only adder species in South Africa that lays eggs. All your other adders give birth to live young. You've got an upside down V on the back of their head. Which, that's how you'll tell that it's a night adder. I'm actually going to zoom in on this. Because this is a nice lacquer pose that he's doing here. Check it out. And average length is 45 centimeters, maximum length is a meter. Longest venom glands of any snake in the world. Venom glands got to one third of the snake's body length. Now I've lost them on the camera, there we go. Psychotoxic venom. And if, say for, if he were to bite me, say for the hand, the finger, or the arm, I could potentially lose that limb. And if he were to bite a small dog, he can potentially kill that small dog. And they only eat frogs and toads, active day and night. So, yeah. Frog and toad specialist. So, yeah. He's just watching me. So, yeah. Let's see if I can move him to go. So, if I get closer. There he goes. <laughs> Just takes a little bit of effort. See, he's a little bit mushed with me. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> he's just doing donuts around me. He's confused of where to go. Let's see if I can. Don't you come back towards me, you chop. And there he goes. So, yeah, snake safely back into the wild and I was at Walkhaven Dog Park looking for problem snares, excuse me, and I didn't find any. And then the owner came walking out with a, like a old cooler box. And when I saw that, I knew instantly she's got a snake. And it was that night out of that you guys got to see me releasing. So I put it into my snake tube, 
the same tube that I had the previous night at an inn and yeah, I brought it through to Cradle Moon to another side of Cradle Moon and let him go safely back into the wild so yeah thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and comment down below and I'll see you next time Matthew out